The Indians signed outfielder Cameron Mabin to a minor league contract. Mabin is a guy who has played parts of 11 seasons in the major leagues, a career 254 hitter. He hit 249 last year with a couple of teams. He's a guy that can steal a base, can play some pretty good defense as well. He hit 315 as recently as 2016 when he was a nightmare for the Detroit Tigers and had an outstanding season. Again, a 315 hitter uh, with almost 36 home runs as well back in 2016. Time to welcome in the Indians beat reporter from MLB.com, Mandy Bell. She is with the team in Minnesota getting ready for a, a game tomorrow. Indians have an off day. Mandy, uh, you got to go to work. Uh, tell us about Mabin. Do you like the signing? I think it's a pretty good one for the Indians. I just don't think that you can really make a bad signing whenever it's a minor league deal right now for, for veteran guys like they've been doing now. Mabin, before they had Matt Joyce, and uh, obviously Carlos Gonzalez, was, which was a little bit more recent. I, I, there's just no risk involved to these deals. And if it pays off, they look like geniuses. So I don't see why you wouldn't do it at this point. I know there's been some the mixed reviews on Twitter right now that I've been reading and stuff. But honestly, at this point, if it's a minor league deal, go for it, I would say. Um, he's obviously going to be starting out at AAA, and, and if they like enough what they see, they could bring him up. Uh, I know they want to test out to see how Jake Bowers and Tyler Naquin does in, in left and right field this year. Give them a little bit of a chance. Carlos Gonzalez has until April 20th to get called up. They have so many outfield choices now, um, which is not something that any of us expected to say, uh, I guess uh, maybe just a few weeks ago. Um, but they have they have a bunch of different options now in AAA, so it'll be interesting to see how it plays out if he gets the call up and when he does.